My name is Dante Thrash. I'm a senior here at North High School in Evansville, Indiana. Well, starting off into the year in English class, we were told that we would be doing a project that would be 20 to 40 hours minimum requirement. And um, we had to do research on this. So I knew that I wanted to make a movie prior to even coming into my senior year. I knew this in my junior year. I have a big movie buff. I'm a fan of movies, and I, I just love movies. So I started to do research into other types of filmmaking. And um, Tim Burton, who's one of my favorite directors, he does stop motion a lot. Like, if you've ever seen The Corpse Bride, that was actually stop motion. But as I started to research more and more, I came across an actual type of stop motion called brick filming, where you use Legos and Lego sets and still images to render a movie together using that. This is my senior project. You shouldn't have followed me here. You don't understand what you're getting yourself into. No, you don't understand, Jay. You can't just run away from your past, it's... It's what, stupid? Are you gonna tell me I just can't run away from my problems? No, I... I just thought maybe... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have came. No, don't say that. You are right. I shouldn't be trying to run away from my problems. It's useless. I am, and will never be nothing more than a puppet. Stone. Stone. Did you hear me, Stone? So you build your set according to your script, which is the first thing you write. You write a script out like you would any other movie, and um, you record your lines, You have because you have to add them in later, but you need to do those first, so you have a reference to how long each shot needs to be. And so I, the next thing I would do is I would set up my set. If you see back here, I, the colors pretty much coordinate with each other, but it's not the result I wanted. Like you see the tan, then you see the light tan, and the dark. And then you have some more dark brown up here. And then you have the white window uh, border with the blue windows. And I tried to tie it in as much as I could, so I added like uh, blue right here to match the windows. And I used a, just a lot of earth tones in there because I wanted it to kind of flow together, but I wasn't happy with the set at all. And then I would put the pieces, the characters in place where they need to start off at. And I would take a still image of it, and then I would slightly modify whatever needed to be moved or animated, is what it's called, in the scene. And then I would take another picture. And each modification was really, really slight, so it was a, it was a long process. This film is actually playing at a rate of 15 frames per second. So for every second of film that you're seeing, you're seeing 15 pictures flash through. I'd say it did come complete project took me about 120 hours, I would say, maybe even more. I stopped counting after a while just because it was really long. I think what comes with the extra hours is you're actually, you get to pick what you want to do. And so if you love doing it, you're going to put in a lot of time into it because you, you really want to have a good display for your class. For me to make him pick him up like that and slam him, I actually had to use mounting putty that I went back through later and edited it in Photoshop and just painted it black. So with the blur, you couldn't really tell that it was there. All through our school life, we're going through, we're doing work and assignments and projects that we're told, do this, lay it out like this. And then we get this project, we can do anything. That's what I really enjoyed about it was our options. The options were endless for us. In a traditional class where we have a guideline that we're supposed to follow when we're doing a worksheet, that's something that we're used to. We've been doing that since kindergarten. We're told to do this, so we do it. But coming into the senior project, we're given so much freedom, it actually becomes overwhelming, and your brain just races through thoughts. Every morning on the announcements, we hear congratulations to this person for receiving a scholarship to that, or this person to receive that. And there are people out there that they don't do well with tests and other stuff, but they're able to do other stuff really amazingly and people don't see that. Um, I really think teachers should listen more. A lot of teachers, you know, they, they feel like they're just here to do, give work, and you know, they don't try to build a relationship up with the students like they should. And if they would, they would see that there are some pretty amazing students in this school. I came across a site called bricksinmotion.com, and it's the largest forums community site for brick filming. 
and um, I just made a post about my situation. I told them I'm a senior in high school and I'm working on a project and I want to do brick filming as the project. And not even a day later, I got a response from a guy named Skylar Fox. He lives in Arizona and he's 22 years old. I told him that I need to do all the animating and all the special effects and everything that were gonna be involved in it. But I wanted his voice to be in there so it could give the, the film more diversity. You already knew too much standard protocol. You should know that. After all, you were the best of the best. Getting him involved like that, you basically killed him, Jackson. Or should I say, Jay? That is what they call you these days, isn't it? Smith, you still have a chance to live. Leave while you can. And the netbook I used for keeping in contact with him, even when I was in school, so that way if I wouldn't miss a beat if something was going on, if he needed help with something. Because he would contact me and, um, he would ask me, how should I say this? Or he would even suggest ideas to me and change the script a little bit. So we went through a lot of rewrites with that as well. School with the netbook is great because it, it really expands our learning and it gives us a lot more resources. I really can't imagine school without a netbook because that's how much I depend on the netbook when I'm in school. When I did the senior project, I didn't know what I was gonna do. And even after I did decide, I still didn't know what I wanted to do after high school. I was going to go into college undecided and maybe just see where that took me. But when I started to explore this and I started to see people's reactions to it, I thought to myself, hey, this could be something that I might really be good at and maybe I should think about this as a career. And I'm actually looking into this now um, in the major media arts and animation. Um, I put the film out on YouTube and I got a really good response from that too. Um, I got a lot of good feedback, people telling me that this is something I should look into and maybe consider this as a career. And I've got a lot of requests for um, collaborations from different YouTubers on the site and um, other sites as well, such as Brick Films or Brick.com. There's a lot of people that want to work with me or have me work with them. I think that this should not just be a senior project. I think they should do something like this with all grades and all classes just because it really expands the students' creativity, their imagination, they, um, they're able to use more resources, and it's just, I think it's just something that should be done more often.